let's start with yesterday afternoon. We did the show yesterday morning. Jody, you and I talked about, you said it yesterday, today would be a good day for some big trades. And at that time, all was quiet. But it turned out to be the calm before the storm as the Columbus Blue Jackets made a huge deal yesterday in sending Artem Anisimov, Marco Dano, Corey Trapp, Jeremy Morin, and a fourth-round pick in 2016 to the Chicago Blackhawks. And the centerpiece of the deal coming back the other way is Brandon Saad. This is a guy that just won his second Stanley Cup and uh, 22 years old, power forward. How much better does this make the Blue Jackets? Well, it's it's really unbelievable. And the buzz is not only around this organization, but around the city, the fans of the city, anyone that's been uh, tied in at all with the Columbus Blue Jackets uh, is very excited. Brandon Saad has probably been uh, the most used name, the, the most prolific player, uh, young player, to be talked about in the National Hockey League as far as when the playoffs started. Uh, he's a restricted free agent. That's taken care of, or it's going to be taken care of here, hopefully, with the Columbus Blue Jackets. He's now a part of this organization. Move some big pieces to get him. I know a couple other pieces came this way, but uh, those guys are unproven. The proven guy is Brandon Saad. He's here. He's a winner. And we did have to move some assets, some regular NHL players, but I think that is an awesome move. And what a statement the day before free agency, if they're trying to lure any kind of player in here, any guy that's got uh, some cachet or a guy that's a big name, put Columbus on the radar because, you know what, they are doing something special there. Jeff, when we were in Florida over the weekend for the draft, and there was a lot of talk about the Blue Jackets trying to move up from number eight to number three with the Arizona Coyotes, and part of a package that was being bantered around was Artem Anisimov. I wasn't a big fan of that deal. I love Artem Anisimov. I really wish that he was here. And when they were talking about moving him for number three, if you get a Noah Hannafin, that's great, but he's an unproven guy. I changed my entire opinion with him being in this deal because Brandon Saad is a proven guy, so this is much easier for me to stomach. Do you agree? Oh, absolutely. I can tell you right now that uh, in Chicago they feel that uh, uh, Saad is a loss, and, and that goes right to Coach Quenville, who called him moving forward and presently one of the premier power forwards of the National Hockey League and looking ahead at 22, already two Stanley Cups, a uh, couple of game-winning uh, goals in the Stanley Cup uh, playoffs. This guy is the real deal, and uh, he'll certainly be a fixture on the left wing. I uh, was texting last night with Ryan Johansson, and uh, Ryan was ecstatic. I said, well, you're going to have to step up your game. He said, I'm already pumped. I'm ready to go. I said, can you get 120 points next year playing with this guy? He said, easy. Yeah, I, I, I talked to him this morning just before I got here, as a matter of fact, too, and I said, are you excited that Yarmo came right out and said he expects him to play with you? And he said, yeah, I'm really pumped up about that. But he was also very realistic in saying, but you know how things work. If it's not meshing, then they very quickly change it. Wouldn't you agree with that? Well, I haven't talked to Ryan Johansson, guys. But <laughs> I have talked to a couple guys on well, the Blue Jackets. Well, you can Jackets. name a name. Yeah. You can drop a name. <laughs> I'm not going to drop names. I'm going to keep them quiet. <laughs> but they're also excited about having Brandon Saad a part of this organization. Um, it's one of those things that you sit back, you watch, you wonder what your organization is going to do. And I think this move is exciting. We're excited. We're, I think we were all excited yesterday when we uh, when we saw this happen. So, uh, yeah, this organization, and you got a right-handed shot in the middle in Ryan Johansson, left-handed in Saad. It's just I think it's a nice little detail that works out well if those two do get to play together. Now, last year, and you'll remember this, Bob, we were in Philadelphia, and actually even happened prior to going to Philadelphia for the draft. Jody Shelley was the welcoming committee for a certain guy on the Philadelphia Flyers that came this way. My question to you is, uh, have you officially welcomed Brandon Saad? Me? Yeah. No, that's you guys. You're the ambassador. Well, you were all over. You're the ambassador <laughs> You're the for the ambassador. team. That's right. Uh, you know what? Maybe I should. I'll go you want his number? Him. I heard he was at a Tim Hortons earlier this morning, so I'll maybe try to track him down. <laughs> I'll give you his number. You can call him. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. The other two, you mentioned the other pieces that came. Yes. That there were some more pieces. Defenseman Michael Paliota. Uh, comes over. He just spent his first year with the Blackhawks organization after he went four years to the University of Vermont. And the centerman, Alex Broadhurst, uh, Yarmo has always said, or has already said, I'm sorry, that Paleota will have a chance to compete and try to make the club. Jeff, as we talk about the Blue Jackets trying to add to their defense, and, you know, today, uh, free agency day, they haven't done anything as far as signing a defenseman. Uh, could this guy maybe be a sleeper that nobody's talking about right now? Well, Yarmo Kekalainen said uh – last night during the conference call that uh, the defenseman will be given every opportunity to make the hockey club in training camp. He had a phenomenal year in Vermont, his senior year. He was captain of the team. He's on a number of all-star teams. I talked to a scout in another organization to kind of get a, a feel on him. Uh, he said, boy, he had a big year. He is a character player. 
and uh, we'll have a chance to make your club. The other uh, youngster uh, played junior, of course, uh, uh, in the Ontario Hockey League, and he had a chance to see him, and he said uh, pretty good hockey player as well. But uh, obviously he'll be given every opportunity to be part of this team. So a proven piece in Brandon Sod, a very good prospect piece, and maybe soon to be a proven piece in Paleota, and then maybe a project piece that could be a part of this in the next couple of years. Uh, and, and really, I mean, that's, that's great. But I think sod is the big deal. It's oh, yeah. always sure. nice. I Absolutely. mean, we're almost talking like potential, but that that, that is, uh, as we know, the but exciting part of that But I'm just saying, if you come deal. out of this with a defenseman as well that turns out to be a pretty good player, this really looks a lot better. Oh, yeah. Even it's been better the focus than focus the last today, right? 72, well, the last five days we've talked about the needs of this team, and that's definitely one. And here again, uh, when you pick up a piece in Brandon Sod and then you say, okay, a nice prospect in a defenseman in that position, why not?